So multiplying by three uses a strategy that we call double plus one more set. So we don't want to get it confused with doubles plus one, which of course is an addition strategy. But the idea of having double a number and then add one more of that number. So here's an example. Supposing our question was three times four, we might say to the student, well, what's two times four? Of course, they should know that already. Two fours are eight. And then let's add another eight. So we make this into three, sorry, add another four. That makes three, lots of four. And of course, the answer is 12. So the students need to know their doubles. They need to be able to add the extra one of the multiplier and get the answer right. So it's a little bit trickier than the doubles, perhaps. Um, it does involve some tricky addition. So if you did three times seven, that would be 14 plus seven, which, you know, as I said, it's a bit tricky, but it's quite a good way to get to the three times uh, multiplication facts if you don't remember what they are. OK, so that's that's how we do the multiplication for division. There isn't a simple uh, division strategy as such. So if we say what's 15 divided by three, there isn't something you can do to 15 easily to come up with three, except to remember the multiplication number fact. And so that basically is the strategy. Think of multiplication. So the recommended process is that the students know their multiplication really, really well so that they can extract from that the answer that they need for a division question. Now, it would be possible for a student to think through the sequence of multiples for three to come up with the right answer. So they could go, well, three times one, OK, three twos are six, three threes are nine, three fours are twelve, you know, three fives are fifteen. That's clearly too slow, and we certainly don't want students to do that every time they have to answer a number fact. But it's better than nothing, and, um, you know, Basically, if the student can become familiar with the set of numbers that make up one of the multiplication tables, um, that will stand them in good stead for division. This brings up another idea which I introduced in the previous video, if you're watching these in sequence, and that's the idea of a number family. So just as with um, addition and subtraction, with multiplication and division, there are sets of three numbers like these three. 15, 5, and 3, which just go together and which, of course, give us the numbers that we need for four different number facts in multiplication and division. 5 threes are 15, 3 fives are 15, 15 divided by one of them equals the other one, and so on. So that's another really good idea. And I would recommend that students learn to associate these groups of three numbers, these triads together, once they've had lots of practice. So then they can think of other triads in the three times table, like three, three, and nine, or um, three, ten, and thirty, or three, eight, and twenty-four, and so on. And if the students can get those groups of three, then they've really, you know, they've got all the number facts they're going to need for multiplication and division.